Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this is a pretty fast and easy lesson, applications of percent. So here's our common core strand for our most grooviest teachers, and our question here is, um, uh, how can we use percents to solve problems? Okay, so so finding the total cost. So sales tax, uh, which is the tax on a, on a sales item, uh, or, or a service, sometimes you get um, uh, some sort of service done on your house, and uh, and they, they charge you sales tax is a percent of the purchase price that the uh, uh, that is collected by the seller. Dang, I proofread this and proofread it again to make sure I didn't misspell something, and there I did right there. Anyways, you guys, so um, uh, Marcus uh, buys a variety of varsity, not a variety. Sorry, I'm preoccupied with this. Let me just fix that right there. Dang, I was sure I was. I had everything corrected right there, but that's all right. So that's no big deal. Okay, uh, let's see. Marcus buys a, a varsity jacket from a store in Anaheim. The price of the jacket is $80 and the sales tax is 8%. What is the total cost of the jacket? Okay, so your your textbook is suggesting to do a bar model on this and, and they, boy, they may make this a very laborious problem. The, the quick way, you guys, and I, I hate to show the long way when there's a much quicker way right here is, um, uh, let me see that, honey. Sorry, that's Lucy here. She's got a little squeaky now, so she's just got a new squeaky. Uh, the new price is a, a hundred percent uh, of the eighty dollars plus eight percent of the eighty dollars. Okay, so so um, uh, so they're taxing on how much the eighty dollars is an additional eight percent. So hundred percent plus eight percent is a hundred eight percent of the eighty dollars. So a hundred eight percent is one point zero eight. So we just multiply one point zero eight times eighty, and we get eighty six dollars and forty cents. So the total cost of the jacket is is $86.40, okay? So um, uh, so how can we find the tax on that, okay? The cost of the, the, the tax cost on that. Well, we just find the 80%. Uh, can you hear squeaky in the background? As I throw it across the room. Um, and she'll play forever until your arm gets tired, not until she gets tired. She'll, she, and we have stairs in our house, and she'll run up and down and up and down and up and down until you finally get tired of throwing it. I had a friend come over, he says, I'll get her tired, and I said, yeah, bet me, and uh, he finally got tired of throwing us. She just kept going for a couple of hours, so anyway, uh, so so uh, just find 8%, which is 0 0.08, don't do 0 0.8, 0 0.8 is uh, 80%, so 0 0.08 of 80 bucks is $6.40, okay, all right, so Sharon wants to buy a shirt that costs 20 bucks, the sales tax is 5%, how much is the tax, and what's her total cost, okay, so the tax is, we're just going to go 0 0.05 times 20, which is a dollar, so the total cost is going to be the $20 plus the tax of a dollar, so 21 bucks. Okay, all right, and, and then also, you guys, we could have found that at the, uh, this way also, you guys, right here. We could have just done, a, you know, 100% of the, of the shirt plus the sales tax is 5%, so that would be 105% of the $20, and 1.05 times 20 is also $21. So, but I did do it this way because they asked, what is the sales tax on top of that? So 0 0.05 times, uh, times 20 gets us a dollar for the sales tax. All right, so finding simple interest. Okay, now there's all kinds of different kinds of interest, you guys. There's compound interest. There's uh, simple interest. There's simple. There's other kinds of interest that earns it monthly or quarterly or biannually and stuff. But simple interest, you guys, is um, uh, when we deposit money into a savings account, our money is usually earns interest. And so, um, uh, whatever kind of interest, so you got to ask when you're uh, borrowing money, what kind of interest is it? Because some of them will benefit you more than the others, and some benefit the banks more than others, obviously. So when we borrow money, we must pay back the original amount of the loan plus uh, some interest right there. Simple interest is a fixed percent of the principal, and the principal is the original amount of money that you deposit or you borrow. So they just keep taxing that beginning amount right there, okay? So Terry deposits $200 into a bank account that earns 3% simple interest per year. Okay, now this lesson only deals with simple interest, which is very easy, you guys. When it gets into other kinds, compound interest, um, that's not hard. It's just a little bit more, more steps involved. But simple interest is we just find the interest of 3% of 200 
um, only. Okay, so what's the total amount of the account after two years? Okay, so simple interest is the interest on the initial principal, which is $200. Here it's 3%, 0 .03, uh, of 200. So 0 0.03 times 200 is $6 for each year. Okay, so it's each year it's $6, $6, $6. So after the first year, um, uh, Terry's going to have 600 or $206 in there, the 200 plus the 6. After the second year, he's going to have that 206 plus another $6 because it's always just plus six dollars uh, plus six dollars every year so two hundred twelve dollars after two years okay so the total amount in the account after two years is two hundred twelve dollars all right so write an expression that we can use to find the total amount of terry's account okay so here it is right here it's the initial two hundred bucks okay plus we're multiplying this two stands for the two years times the interest of the two hundred dollars the the initial amount right there so if we wanted to find four years, I'd just change this two to a four, but it would still be times 3.03, 3% uh, times 200, okay? And that's what we add to the initial deposit right there, okay? That's what simple interest does. Okay, so Ariana borrows $400 on a four-year loan. She is charged 5% simple interest per year, so 5% of 400. So how much interest is she charged for four years? Now, what's the total amount she has to pay back? Okay, so the interest that she pays each year is 5% of 400 or 0 0.05 times 400, which is $20 a year. So after four years, we multiply 4 times 20, and she's going to have to pay $80, okay? And then so Ariana uh, has to pay back the $400 plus the $80 of the simple interest, so $480 total right there, okay? Sometimes we got to use multiple percents, so some situations require applying more than 1% to a problem. For example, when you dine at a restaurant, you have to pay sales tax on the meal and pay a tip to the staff, okay? So Typically, a tip is usually about 15 to 20 percent, but the tip is usually paid on the amount before the tax is installed. Okay, so um, and then when you pay tax on an item, you pay tax on the discounted price only. So sometimes they say, you know, this this uh, car you're saving 20 percent. Well, you only pay the tax on the on the 80 percent that's left. Okay, all right, Lucy, hold on, honey, I'll get it in just a second. She got her ball trapped underneath the chair. All right, so the Sanchez family goes out for dinner, and the price of the meal is 60 bucks. The sales tax on the meal is 7%, and they also want to leave a 15% tip. So what is the total cost of the meal? Okay, so since the tip is 15% before the tax is included, we can just include the, the, the tip money with the sales tax. So we're just going to add 15% with the 7%, and don't forget the dinner is 100%. So if we just do 100% of the dinner plus the 15% for the tip plus the 7% for the tax, we get 122% on the price of the dinner. So find 122% of 60. So the final cost for everything should be $73.20. Okay. All right. Kedar earns a monthly salary of $2,200 plus a 3.75% commission on the amount of his sales at a men's clothing store, okay? So the commission is like how much tax or how much money he makes on, this, on the sales that he does. One month, he sold $4,500 in clothing. So what's his commission on that month and how much did he earn in all, okay? So remember, he earns, he already earns for just going there $2,200. And then the more he sells, the more commission he earns on top of that. So let's find the commission. So this in decimal is move it over two places. One, two. So we got a clue in zero right there. So 0 0.0375. So we're going to find uh, 0 0.0375 times 4,500. That's going to be how much he earns on the commission. And so he gets $168.75. So his total earnings is going to be that $2,200 plus $168.75. So he's going to have... $2,368.75 take home. All right, you guys. I uh, hope that makes sense and take care.